So since the Edge Runners update for Cyberpunk 2077, we have had quite a few new additions in regards to new iconic weapons, new legendaries, new armor, clothing sets, and much more. Today, guys, I bring you all, I think there's about 25 in total, that have been added into the game since before the 1.6 update patch. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, if you like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so on screen now, as well as being timestamped down below, will be all the new additions that have been added into the game. So let's go. Okay, so to start, we have the Amnesty Revolver. Now, this weapon you will need to have completed Panem's questline. And it is received upon you asking for Panem's help upon the final mission of Nocturne OP55M1. After clearing out Hanukkah's dialogue within the first part of this mission, you know the usual shit, you eventually uh, get to that rooftop after chatting with Misty. You know where you have that discussion with Johnny Silverhand. Here when prompt you need to ask for Panem's help. This will then lead you to waiting for Panem with Misty and then you falling unconscious and waking up at Panem's camp. And from here guys there's a few things you have to do. You need to go and talk to Saul and Panem at that table and clear all dialogue here guys. And then from here guys you got the option on screen to talk to Mitch and a few other NPCs. But the main one here guys to push forward with getting this weapon is to get in the tub to go and speak to or go and see Oat. This is done by obviously going to see the Kota. Upon doing this guys you'll then have to go and talk to Sol. This is basically when you become an Alticada. And you can see here on the left hand side of the screen guys, this guy here, this NPC is Cassidy. This is the guy who you get this gun off. So just after this part guys, you basically are prompt to uh, talk to Panam talk to the nomads which is optional or join Panem when you are ready this is where you go and speak to Cassidy but before we do this guys you want to go ahead and make a manual save just in case you mess this up because as far as I remember you only have one shot at doing this let's go ahead and talk to Cassidy and complete his challenge where he wants you to shoot those bottles this can be a little difficult uh, but you can always use that sandy vista to help you out if you are struggling here What kind of machinery have you got in there? You should be giving me lessons. Fine shooting, kid. Now, once you do this, you will be rewarded this uh, revolver. Now, I know a lot of people will say this has always been available, but since the latest 1.61 patch, they fixed the issue where people could not craft the legendary version. Well, now you can, guys. So, yes, go get this thing and enjoy it. Guys, you have the gut shotgun. This can be obtained via going to the Metro Memorial Park fast travel and following the route I take as seen on screen. Now, the weapon is literally just lying by a bush.
Next up guys, you have the hypercritical power precision rifle. Now this is a weapon you obtain and pick up off of a side mission or side gig called the concrete cage trap. Now this gig isn't there for everyone. If it isn't there for you, simply complete more gigs within the area and it should appear for you. Once the gig is there for you guys, go as directed throughout the gig and you eventually come to a room uh, where a guy called Mike needs his inhaler. The weapon is literally on the side in the room next to him. I think it may be a bathroom. Grab it and you are good. Next up guys, we have the Senko LX Tech Machine Gun, or Tech Submachine Gun. So this weapon is sitting on a table within a gig called Nasty Hangover. Simply start the gig. Uh, you can kill everybody or just run and grab this weapon, depending on your preference and if you want to complete the gig. But it's right there, you don't have to complete the gig to get this thing, you can just simply run in and grab it, it's up to you. Okay, so here we have four brand new weapons added into the inventory of a gun vendor. Okay, so the weapons are the Kappa Smart Pistol, the Kyubi Power Assault Rifle, the MA70 HB Power Light Machine Gun, and the VST37 Fulzar Power Shotgun. So the gun vendor can be seen on the map right here. So come to this guy's location guys. Yeah, the weapons can actually spawn in here in an epic version too. So you may as well farm him to get the epic versions. Uh, to farm him guys, if he hasn't got the weapons there for you within his inventory, just back out of it, walk away a few feet and skip time by 24 hours and go back. Rinse and repeat until you get what you want. Next up guys, we have five brand new knives or blades as well as a new iconic weapon. So this knife vendor seen on the map right here guys, he has a, an exclusive iconic weapon tied to him called the Head Hunter. So you can come to this uh, vendor guys and farm this dude for this new weapon. To farm him as you do, you step outside of your shop, skip time by 24 hours and then just go back in and keep doing it guys. He also has uh, five brand new weapons as well. He has the claw axe, the automatic chain sword, the new autoxin knife, the punk knife, and the razor machete. These can all be epic variants 
too so you can farm these as well as the iconic headhunter at this vendor okay so we also have another brand new iconic weapon called the blue fang and it's this knife vendor you can see on the map right here guys which you can farm for this weapon you can also farm this knife vendor guys for the claw axe the cutomatic the neurotoxin and the punk knife as well as the razor you can also farm those weapons at this vendor too so if you want the blue fang over the head hunter you can come to this vendor and farm this dude simple Okay, so next up we have the legendary variant of the chef's knife. Okay, so to get this legendary, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is head to this vendor within the Westbrook in Japan town. News fast travel here is the Cherry Blossom Market. So come here, guys, and grab this weapon. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Butcher's Kaliva. Now this is obtained from a real early mission called Map Tempelan. As you go inside the Butcher's, you meet a, uh, well you meet Plasoid for the first time. He uses this to cut a chicken's head off. When he puts it down guys, you can simply pick the knife back up. But again, this is a real early mission in the game. So you may have to either wait until a new game plus or create a new character. I'm not sure it's worth creating a new character, but hey, do what you gotta do. Fait, les pas faire qu'un sens pousser les cognards. She's done. Looking for placide. Oui, bah, on est. It is placide. Gardez ici, là. Do do ti pi ti mama. C'est au même. Continuez. L'acide, gardez-la. Proceed. Mm -hmm. Told me at the chapel you're the one to talk to. Mr. Hands sent me. Said you got merc work needs doing. No here. Come with. Okay, so we're going to move on to the clothing and the armor. Okay, so we're going to start with David Martinez's jacket or David's jacket as it's called in game. Now this is obtained from a side mission called Over the Edge. This starts as you see here on the map, come here guys, come to this point. 
and you have to watch a brain dance. So I'm going to skip that part. I mean, it's absolutely amazing, but definitely watch it in game. Interesting. Now upon you watching it or after you've watched it, you are then notified to text our Captain Reyes. Upon you exchanging messages about David Martinez, you then need to drive out of the area and skip time by 24 hours to initiate the next step. Keep skipping time though guys until Falco sends you a message. Exchanging that conversation with him and then guys you are sent to a location pinpointed on your map. Go here and you will receive this amazing jacket. Next up guys we have the lightweight hardened rubber media steel toes or just the media boots. Now these are the missing item which completes the media set. Uh, these were added with the latest 1.6 patch. Problem is they were thrown in with a loot source which originally gave you the media pants. Meaning if you have already looted the body which gave you the media pants they are not there for you. If you haven't go to where I do on screen now and grab these things. If you are interested in the rest of this set, I will link my video showcasing all sets down below within the video description as well as all weapons. Next up guys we have the techie harness. For this new item contour the Ventura and Skyline fast travel point and follow the path I take on screen now to this locker. Simply open the locker and grab that loot.
Okay, so next up, people, we have the heat resistant armored weave fixer shirt. It has a new location. As I believe the original one after the 1.2 patch wasn't there anymore for some people, but now it is available to all players, including those non streaked players. Now, I'm not sure what actually happened originally here because I had a big chunk away from this game, but in saying that, it was there initially for me, but I was a streaked player. Either way, it's here for all now. And where you want to come to, you guys, is where I am at on the map right here. Now, there are a couple of fast travel points around this spot, but I won't bore you running for 10 minutes locating this body. Just come to this point on the map, guys, and grab this thing, and you are good. Okay, so next up we have the Roach Whisperer set. Okay, so this set is rewarded to you for getting a top score on an arcade game called Roach Race. You need to find an arcade machine that are all over the map, but you can just go to the one I use seen on screen now. If the arcade machine hasn't got the game of Roach Race for you, simply run out of the area and come back until it appears. Now upon you beating the top score, which I believe is just over 3300, you are then sent a text message and you will then find a crate, a loot crate, just inside of your apartment on your left with your rewards in them. Simple. Next up guys, we have a vendor which is selling certain clothing items I believe were previously taken out of the game. The Rocker Boy to name a few. Now these items ain't guaranteed here every single time, so to simply reset the vendor's stock and re-roll certain gear, simply skip time by 24 hours. There are some real great clothing options for you guys here, some rare stuff too. So be sure to head over here guys and take a look. This is a good time for you then. So 
And lastly, people, we have the sin resistant pants. These complete the bitch version 1.3. And well, after I believe the 1.4 or 1.5 patch, these were really hard to come by. But now it seems since the latest patch, or maybe even the one before, you can get these quite easily at this vendor within a royal. So if this was of interest of you, or previously was, and you're struggling to find them, I hope this helps you out. And there we have it guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.